Greetings everybody, I'm going to start out today by sharing the presentation for manuscript titled Microclimate and the Irrigation Requirements Under Greenhouses in Egypt. The authors of the manuscript are Muhammad Abdrabbu, work for a cultural research center in Egypt, and Dr. Akbar Javidi, the Bartum of Engineering, University of Exeter, United Kingdom, and Dr. Abdul Azim Nib, work for the Department of Engineering, University of uh, Zagazik University. The, end of, the aim of the current study is to investigate some of management practice in terms of microclimate and the different greenhouse covers and irrigation requirements and the common crops under greenhouse in Egypt. The greenhouse in Egypt is important for a, con for a continuous supply of vegetables for local market, especially during the off season. The goal obtain more production from water fertilizer and the land units under the greenhouses. Greenhouses have have become more important for food security with the rapid increase of popularity in Egypt. Material and the methods. The first of all, I will talk about the dominated climate in Egypt. The climate in Egypt is very characterized by a dry summer season associated with low precipitation and high temperature and a winter season with light rain, rainfall gradually decreases with altitude from the north to the south. The lowest maximum and the minimum air temperature occur during December and January. Temperature gradually increases from February to reach the highest average temperature during June and July. Managing the microclimate and the irrigation system in, in the greenhouse is considered a major challenge faced by growers due to the differences of cover climate, polyethylene, screen, and chill mix. Evapotranspiration follows almost the same trend as air temperature. Air, air relative humidity increases during January to reach about 70%. And it decreases from April to about 50%, and then increases again during August until December. Climatic data the climatic data was collected from automated stations belonging to the Central Laboratory for Agricultural Climate, the greenhouses dimension were 40% length, 9% width, and 3.5 meter height. The air temperature and the relative humidity under the greenhouses were measured, were measured by digital thermohygrograph. The irrigation requirements was calculated according to FAO 56 method. The main results in this, uh, in this paper, data in the figure one shows the air temperature and different, under different cover materials, such as polyethylene, white, white and black net compared to open field condition. The temperature and white net cover was slightly higher than open field during the daytime, while the air temperature under the shade net was lower, lower by two percentage than the open field. Polyethylene cover increased the air temperature and the relative humidity compared to the screen net cover as well as open field. Greenhouse Greenhouse design in Egypt should deal with the high daytime temperature during the early summer, especially with high frequency of heat waves in the last 10 years. This, this data can help the growers and investors to select the proper cover for concerned crop according to the environmental need for each cultivated crop. Greenhouse structure covered by screen net or shade net are considered one of the convenient practices to be adopted, especially during the summer season. 
Lower end temperature under shade lit depends on the darkness factor of the screen material. Shading in its applied would be effect effective in, in relieving the heat load of the greenhouses and the and then reduce heat stress for cultivated corn. However, using global screen net allows effective ventilation to permit sufficient airflow through screen opening. The effect of the screen net to, is to reduce heat, heat stress for plant during summer season due to lower air temperature and avoid direct exposure to solar radiation. The irrigation management under greenhouses. Data presented in the table shows the irrigation requirements for major crops during the cultivation cultivated season in Duke area Giza government. The irrigation requirements start with a small volume, small quantity during the early season and increase after that in the mid and maturity stage. The irrigation water requirement increase with increasing air temperature and then evapotranspiration. The impact of the greenhouse cover on air temperature lead to direct impact of group water requirements. Evapotranspiration follows particularly a similar pattern as air temperature. The climatic, uh, the climatic, uh, the climatic data and soil moisture was was measured by global sensors to estimate the irrigation requirements and the the, the climatic data and the, the greenhouse, different cover of greenhouse. Common crops in Egypt, the greenhouse expanded significantly in the last few years in Egypt, which led to increase the local production of some vegetables, vegetable crops such as cucumber, pepper, tomato, and green beans. The high production led to decrease in the price of the produced crop with higher competition. Some growers started to cultivate tropical fruits as, such as mango, orange, and banana to obtain significantly high income from land and water units. More crops should be adopted under the greenhouse such as medicinal and ornamental crops such as basil and cut flowers. The conclusion, the current work demonstrated some of management practices in terms of microclimate under different greenhouse cover irrigation water requirements and the common crop under greenhouses in Egypt. Increase in temperature during summer season led to increase the irrigation water requirement due to increase the available transpiration value during hot day time, which increased with increasing temperature under the greenhouse. Acknowledgement, this paper is based on work sub supported by science, technology, and the Innovation Funding Authority of Egypt, grant number 30771, and the British Council of the United Kingdom, through a project titled A Novel Standalone Solar Drive, Driving Agriculture Greenhouse Desalination System that grows in energy and irrigation water. They are a new Sharafa funding scheme. Thank you for attention. Thank you very much.